Well, you recognise him, I know, but he's definitely on view today. The top scorer in the league, and it's live. It's a very nice night in this part of the world. Welcome to you. Big welcome. Nice to have you with us. I'm Martin Tyler. Alan Smith sits with me. It is the DFB Pokal quarter-final. It's Nuremberg against Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, great chance to get to the semis here for both sides. Both sides are ambitious. And both sides more than capable of going on and winning this competition. We'll find some space here on the flanks. Jorgen Hazard for Nuremberg today. Well, we've gone with a 4-3-3 formation here for them. Is that the way you see it, Alan? Yeah, I mean, it can be a just... A real chance to go in front. He's chosen to cut it back now. Can't keep the ball at the moment. The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. Julian Weigel, Sancho. He's got to manage this match and giving the foul, I think it's quite a good thing to do. Grant. A great chance to go in front. Well, they managed to dig themselves out of a pretty deep hole then. It was a great chance, I thought, but they're safe again. No nonsense defending, it was needed. Mario Goetze, Weigel, Goetze, a chance for a goal, joy for Dortmund to get the first goal of the game. Now oh, came about after a slick move too. I doubt in his career he's ever had a more straightforward chance to score and his eyes lit up and the net bulged. Well I have seen them missed from that kind of range with the goal gaping but not often I've got to say. Sancho. Good vision here. Will it pass? Can he finish it? Can he put it into an open goal? And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match. We'll see. Well, it was a gift. Strikers dream about moments like this. A tap in. Yes, not often that you do get what is literally an open goal. And he wasn't going to miss it. Just widen the margin here to 2 0. Mario Goetze. I think we could guess this Dortmund uh, passing the possession, and I've been really impressed by the way they've gone about the business, taken the game to the opposition, they've dictated the tempo, they're totally in control, can they see it through to the end? Good interception. Hanno Berens. So... Well, the ball's been deflected out, so it'll be a throw-in. Made a quick interception. Weigel. Cuts it out nicely. Taking on the defenders. The poor tackle, but it has... Nicely lined up for the set-piece specialist here with this free kick. Oh, I've seen him bury these from this distance. It's a short free kick. Brandt. 
Mario Goetze. Weigel. Golden opportunity now. Elasticity from the goalkeeper. Wonderful agility, that. Really superb. The short route here. Jaden Sancho. Now he's lost the ball. Well, they've got a set piece specialist, haven't they? And this might just suit him. Well, the keeper knows. He knows he's got a shot to face here. And the goalkeeper hangs on well. He's cut it out. Brandt. Mario Goetze. He fancies his chances of getting past these players. Goetze! Well, they managed to get out of harm's way there because it looked as though there was going to be some real damage done to them. Julian Weigel. Brandt. Good reading of the play by the defender there at a time where his team were really under the cosh. He's had a good look and decided on what he's seen from this uh, period of play to add on three minutes. So, careless there. No need to attack so much in the second half. Referee just checking everything is in order, and he blows for the second half to start. It will be a free kick. And the defender able to clear it away. Hazard, Mario Goetze, guiding it through the defenders. He's in on goal. What a happy goal scorer. He's found the way past the keeper once already, and now he's knocked in his second, and the hat trick is definitely on for him. Well, he's doubled up here with his second goal, and he took it in excellent style, just like the first one. I don't think we expected this, such a one sided affair, but look at the scoreline. That's one way out of that situation with a back heel, but. Position saw it coming. Borussia Dortmund on the ball, they've worked hard to get it there. And that's really the way to get the ball out of the danger zone. Big call now from the referee. He has produced the red card. Straight away, you knew he'd made up his mind, went for the pocket, no arguments. Well, I think he's going to go for goal, why not? Great chance to uh, get his name on the score sheet. Takes on the shot! Well, with him, you know he's going to go for goal, but he's had better efforts, many of them. I'd be surprised if he is allowed to take the next one after that. We'll see you soon on EA Sports this Bundesliga fixture. Borussia Dortmund, and they'll be facing Bayer Leverkusen away from home. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. It's a penalty against them too here. Well, I don't think it's going to be their day. The penalty, I think it was clear-cut. And the fact that the referee's not booked anyone, is that a bit lenient? Maybe, but on the plus side, I think he's showing a bit of common sense. The penalty, I feel, is... Punishment enough. Good penalty. Confidence personified with the penalty. He's made that one look easy. I know you should score from 12 yards, but he does it on a regular basis. So off they go again, trying to make some sort of mark in a game that they're being dominated in. Well, the 
trying to steer it through. Well, it's come to nothing in the end. We've had an hour gone here, and still 30 minutes left. And here's the shot. Top performance from a top team, and they've emphasised their superiority with the number of goals that they've scored. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team. They're racking up the goals. It's good attacking play, this, from them. There's no doubt that Milan have been in the market for the kind of player that uh, he is, and they've decided to nail their colours to his mast. Well, it's a fairly big transfer figure, £40 million pounds or thereabouts, and uh, I think this lad won't be affected by it, though. He'll uh, be able to concentrate on his football and show us what he can do. Made the tackle. A chance to break away now on the counter. Oh, he's through. We knew about the pace, and it was too quick for the opposition. Great goal. Well, what a sight to behold that was. The opposition was absolutely helpless to counter it. Well, this is top-class football by a top-class team, and they've got a goal to remember. Well, as good as the move was, the finish was absolutely exquisite. Brilliant. One team really on their game today, the other very off-colour. Sometimes being a favourite in a match can weigh heavily, expectation and all that. It's not a problem for this team, is it? No, I think their manager will be delighted because they've not uh, taken it easily at all. They've given respect to their opponents, but they've shown the class too. Weigel. The ball glued to his boots, it seems. Excellent work. It's still dangerous here off the goalkeeper. We've seen that room is on the inside. Hasn't held it, the goalkeeper. Well, they're not letting up, are they? I mean, comfortably ahead, but continue to uh, create chances, ask questions of that keeper. Very close in, Alan, but not very close to scoring. Yeah, a simple save in the end, and it should have been anything, but he should have been picking it out of the net, the keeper. Well, he's got away from him. With his skill, here's a chance. Well, the goal scored by the side with the extra man, and they've made that extra man count. Well, you've got to use the width of the pitch and make that extra man count, as you say, Martin. They did exactly that, and they were patient. They waited for the moment, and they got the reward. Well, the body language at this kickoff isn't great, is it? And you can understand why. Ten minutes left of regular time. Sancho. That's the way to win the ball back. One or two players are warming up for the home team. We'll see who comes on. What's the have a go? Well, they're rubbing home the advantage here of the extra man, aren't they, with this goal? Yeah, you expect that to happen, but it doesn't always pan out that way, so fair play to them. Not letting up. I think the opposition just wished the final whistle would go now. Well, I want to see this again, this goal. Well, we're in the last few minutes now, and the die has been cast in this game, really. Magritte. Really important reading of the danger there by the defender. Players up in support if he needs them. Can't get past him. Such a good defender. Kaczynski. Intercepted well. He's got him very fairly and won the ball cleanly. Break quickly when they get possession. This could be it. A brilliant breakaway goal. Well, that was absolutely mesmerising the way they moved the ball forward so swiftly, so slickly. It's another late goal to emphasise the gulf between the two sides today. Yeah, and it's been that type of match. I think everybody out there, the strikers particularly, want to increase the goal tallies. They've done it. It is now an extraordinary lead, and you could say really game over. Saw the pass coming and got there first. Oh, a 
chance. What a brilliant goal. Well, he's put it low and into the corner. Well, that's a great goal. He showed a lot of composure, not to mention skill to find the bottom corner like that. Well, disappointment for the losing team, but I'm afraid the winners deserve this margin, which has been confirmed by this very late goal. Yeah, it's been a, a walkover. You don't often get games like this at this particular level, but so one-sided. Weigel. There we go, final whistle. One team out of their misery. The other team, high on celebrations. What a brilliant performance from this fella. Well, you can see why so many people are...